Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you the Ubico Authenticator app. This is the app that you will use to generate those six digit codes that when you use two factor on websites will typically use. Um, normally you'd use like a Google Authenticator app on your phone, you would snap a picture of the QR code and it would set it up, but the problem with that is the secret information is stored in the phone. So if someone hacks the phone, they could steal that information and generate the six digit codes on their own computer. Whereas with this, we're going to be programming that information into the YubiKey, so the physical YubiKey can generate the codes, but the information that's generating them will be stuck permanently, because a YubiKey is essentially a sealed black box. Things don't get out. <coughs> so. I'm going to hit the icon at the top right, go to Google account, go to signing into Google again, click on two-factor or two-step verification, type in a super secure, secret, secure password, I'm going to tap the side of my YubiKey. So this is now using the U2F feature that we set up in the prior video. But I'm going to scroll down and go to Authenticator app. Hit Setup. Tell it, yeah, I'm on Android. Click Next. Now we've got a QR code. This is where you would normally snap it with your phone. But we go to File, Scan QR Code, and that scans the entire screen and looks for a QR code. And it gets the information from it. So here is the secret key, which will be trapped forever inside the YubiKey. Um, the email address and you can change these so if you wanted to make it more unique you could put like Google work email or something like that just don't change any of this information here just anything these first two things that's what you can change then hit save credential now that has programmed it into the YubiKey so we hit next and to verify that it's working, we can either type in the number or we can right click it and hit copy to clipboard. So I'm going to paste that in here, click verify. And we've now verified that this is working and it knows everything's fine. So just for the sake of demonstration, let's see, I'm going to remove the U2F feature. Okay, so my only current two-factor is the fact of this authentication. So now, to test it out, I'm going to sign out. Gmail.com. <coughs> okay, so unplug the YubiKey, and we'll log in here. And now we get this screen. Again, we've got a tick box if we never want to be asked again on this device. We'll untick that. But now we need the verification, and they're assuming we're using the Google Authenticator. But because this is a standardized technology called OAuth time-based one-time passcodes, we're using a YubiKey. So I'm going to plug the YubiKey in. And now it's generating the code. Um, so I'm going to tell you right now that this is the YubiKey Neo. This always generates all the codes right here on the screen. Um, and the YubiKey Neo can hold 28 of these. So 28 different websites you could put into this. Uh, the YubiKey 4, when you're programming the information in, you can make it require you to press the side. Just like I pressed the side, uh, as I showed you for the U2F, you can make it so that you would double click on this, and then you would have to press the side, and then it would generate that one specific code. But I'm using a Neo for this demonstration, and this is the only method that it can do. So if you've got 28 different websites here, you'd see 28 sets of numbers, one for each. So, I want to log into this Google account, so I'm going to go 632913, press enter, and now we're logging in. So, it was necessary to have the six digits, 
And um, without that, if someone hacks your username and password, but they don't have your physical YubiKey to generate these codes, they are not going anywhere. So that is how you use the system. Something else you can do is you can set a password on this. So in order to even see these, to be able to generate the one-time passcodes, you need to put in your initial password. So if I set password, okay, so I hit set password. All right, so now if I unplug it, when I go to plug it back in again, I now need to put in the password in order to open this up. So now I can see any codes, any uh, entries that have been added in here. Now if I want to remove, because you can only fit 28 on a YubiKey Neo, and you can fit 32 of these on a YubiKey 4. If I want to remove one, I can just right click it, hit delete, and say yes I'm sure. But I'm not going to do that right now because I wouldn't be able to access the account. So there you go. That's a tutorial on how to set this up. And they're all just there ready for you whenever you need them.